Hi guys, how you doing? Good. My name is Miss Abby. I'm an educator over the Adventure Science Center up in Nashville. Who's been there? I've been. Awesome, awesome. Uh, new stuff happening all the time. Worth the trip back. We did just open our sound box exhibit, which is super duper cool. It's about the science behind like music and sound. So pretty awesome to have up there in Music City and all. Okay, guys, so are you ready to talk about space today? Yes. yes. Fantastic. I love your enthusiasm. Love it, love it. Uh, when we talk about space, first of all, we have to talk about the planets. Who knows what planet we live on? What planet do we live on? Yes. Earth. Okay. Hey, guys, so throughout the entire uh, program today, there's going to be lots of questions that I'm going to be asking you. If you could, please just raise your hands and I will be calling on you. I will also need lots of volunteers throughout the program. So just stay calm, stay seated, and I'll get around to you eventually, okay? So, Earth, yes, this, does this look familiar, maybe? Yes. Yeah, does this look like Earth, maybe? Yes. Awesome. Who thinks you can come up here and identify where Franklin, Tennessee is on our Earth? You want to do it? Come on up. Um, maybe like right here? Yeah, it'd be probably Somewhere. behind that. It's underneath those clouds. Yeah. Right about there. Yep, right about there. Very good. We have identified where Tennessee is. We have identified this is Earth. Fantastic. Now, when we look up, do you have a question? Can we do questions at the end? OK. Uh, when we look up into the sky from here, what do we see? Hold on, raise your hand. Raise your hand, what do you see? Moon, 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 You see clouds sometimes, so there's some weather, yes. We see the moon, thank you very much. What else can we see? Okay, we see the moon, we sometimes see clouds and other weather. The sun, yes, we see the sun. Do you see something else? We see stars at night, fantastic. So I got a question for you. Can we see the sun and the moon at the same time at night? Yes. No. At night. Yes. Can we see the sun and the moon? Do you know the answer? No, we can't. Do you know why that is? Do you know? Yes. Because the Earth rotates or orbits around the sun. So that leads me to one of our first interactive processes up here. I'm going to need someone to be our Earth. Someone to be our Earth. Do you want to be Earth? Come on up here, sir. Hold our Earth. Awesome. So I'm going to need someone to be our sun. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, you can be the sun. We got a bright, bright dress on. If you'll please stand right over here. So what is your name? Audrey, we have Audrey as the sun. What is your name? Max. Max as the Earth. Audrey and Max are going to be demonstrating the Earth's orbit around the sun. The sun actually has the easy job. She just gets to stand there. Now, Max, you've got a little bit more complicated of a job. Do you know why? Not only do you have to orbit around the sun, but you also have to spin. Can you spin the Earth as you, okay, we're going, okay, we're going that way. That's good. It'll work. Okay, so spin the earth around and orbit around our sun, please. Do a deadly demonstration. Keep going, keep going. Look, Max is doing a fantastic job. Okay, and pause. Great job. Stay there. Guys, there's one more thing that we need to add in there. Do you want to be the moon? Come on, be the moon. My name is Jameson. Okay, so we have Jameson as our moon. Jameson, here's the tricky thing about the moon. The moon rotates around the Earth. Can you go in orbit around the Earth? Max, stand still for now, please. Okay, we've got our moon orbiting around our Earth, right? Fantastic job. Okay, pause there. Now we're going to add a little bit more difficulty in it because our moon has to orbit around the Earth while our Earth orbits around the sun, okay? Let's see if you can do it. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, Earth, Max, let's go. We gotta get spinning and rotate and orbit around our sun, please. 
while the moon catches up with you. Just go. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll get it worked out. Oh my God, he's doing it. <laughs> that doesn't always work out. Fantastic job, guys. <laughs> okay, and pause. Right where you are, guys. Pause, freeze, freeze. Okay, guys, big round of applause. That was the best rotation I've seen. Thank you. <laughs> we have Jameson as our moon, Max as our earth, and then, what was your name again? Audrey. Audrey as our son. Thank you, guys. So now I must ask you, how many planets are in our solar system? So we've talked about Earth a little bit. Yeah. How many other planets are there in our solar system? Do you know? Saturn. Jupiter. Saturn. Jupiter. Saturn. <laughs> Hold on, guys. We'll call you in just a moment. We are going to be listing them. Do you know how many planets are in our solar system? There are eight. Yes, we're going to go with eight. So we've said Earth. Is there anyone out in the audience who wants to help me count, eight. make sure we don't repeat anything? Eight. Can you help eight. me keep track of that, please? Do you want to come up? You can just do like this when we say the right planet. It doesn't have to be in order. It's fine. Okay, guys, so we have eight planets. Raise your hand if you can name one. That's all you have to do is one. Yes, sir. Jupiter. Hold on. Name a planet. Do you know one? Mars, very good. We got Mars. What else? Venus. Venus. What else? Um, um, Earth. We've got Earth. Fantastic Daddy. job. Pluto. Pluto is actually a dwarf planet, and that would have been the ninth Daddy. one, but we're going to leave it off of our eight for now. Daddy. You have one? Neptune. Yeah, no. Neptune. Did we say Neptune yet? No. Okay, fantastic. Saturn. Saturn? Are you saying Saturn? I think Daddy. she's saying Saturn. Yes. Moon. The moon is actually not a planet. Yes. Uh, the, 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 sun. the sun is not a planet. It's a star. Yeah. Orange shirt. Do you have one? Yeah. Venus. Did we say Venus already? Yes. I feel like we did. Okay. Do you name a different one? Uh, Mercury. Mercury. I Fantastic. I yes. Uh, Correct. How many is that now? Are we good? Jupiter. Fantastic job. Woo! Give yourselves a big round of applause. You guys know your planets. You know where we are. And you know what you see when you look up into space, right? Is that all that you need to go up into space, though? No. <laughs> can, you, can you go to space in your, your dresses and your shorts and your shirts? No. No, you can't. We are going to talk about everything that someone needs to wear to get into space. Ooh. What kind of scientist goes into space? Raise your hand. Astronaut. astronaut. Correct. Do we have someone who would like to hold? Do you want to hold our astronaut? There we go. Okay, so now we must name all of the important pieces of equipment that our astronaut must have to get up into space. So raise your hand, raise your hand up high. What do you need? Helmet. What do you need to go up into space? Helmet. A helmet, very good. We need a space helmet to go up into space. Do you have something else? Lots of layers. Lots of layers, meaning what kind of special suit? suit. There we go. So a very thick special space suit, special space helmet, what else? We need, can you turn him around? We need oxygen, very good, an oxygen tank right back there. What else? Space boots, we got some fancy boots. Anything else, anything else to get up into space? They do, <laughs> they do have special, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what else, something else for our extremities? Something else for our extremities? Do you know? Gloves? No. Okay, we'll say gloves. Yes, so we need a helmet, a special space suit with lots of layers in it. We need space boots, space gloves, and oxygen tank. That's a lot to have to take into space, isn't it? <laughs> the suit includes the plant pants. 
we actually have an example of how thick one of those white spacesuits actually is. And at the very end of today's program, if you guys want to come up, you can see and feel them up close and personal. But for now, we're just going to count how many layers, because you mentioned layers, how many layers the spacesuit actually has. So this is our outside layer. That's one. Can you count with me? One. Awesome. That's insulation. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Eleven layers. Eleven layers. Guys, this is actual material from a spacesuit. And this one right here actually has a tube that would be filled with water, and that would be the second closest to your skin or to you to keep you either warm or cool, depending on how close we actually are to the sun. This is our secret air conditioning. How's that for science? Yeah? Pretty cool. So, we're going to put our spacesuit. Are you doing good? Okay. Do you mind holding the astronaut? <laughs> Are you done holding the astronaut? <laughs> okay, awesome. You can stay here. So, guys, I am dressed in a flight suit that they would wear inside uh, the, the rocket, the shuttle, and or while they are training. I happen to have another spacesuit right here. Do I have a volunteer who would like to try this on for size? Green shirt in the back, do you want to try this on? I think it's a little big for you. Okay, we're going to try this on. It is going to fit perfect. Loser pants. Yeah, you have to step into it. It's confusing, I know. <laughs> you work on getting that put on. You're doing a great job. I'm going to need another volunteer because we have that oh so important space helmet. Do you want to do it? Come here. Come on up here. Okay, turn around so you're facing the audience. There you go. How's that? Now you can see and or talk to us. How's that? And then I have some special boots. I need someone to try on our special boots. You have flip flops on? Come on up. Okay, so I also need someone to hold our backpack. Do you want to hold our backpack? Come on up. And then I need someone to help pack our backpack. Did you want to help pack our backpack? Come on up. Okay, guys, so we've got several volunteers up here. We will be going through the line soon. But before we go into space, we need to talk about what we need to take with us. So we've got our suit. We've got our helmet. We've got our boots. And now we have a backpack. What do we put in our backpack before we go to space? What is one of the, what's one of those things that we need? Oxygen. We have a backup air tank. So, sir, if you would please place our air tank into our backpack. It has two compartments. There's one at the top there or in the bottom. Whichever works best for you guys. Okay, so we've got oxygen. Fantastic. Are we ready to go to space? No. No. What else? We need, what, what do we need, guys? Food. We do need food. So if I have, I have a fresh peach, I have fresh grapes. Hey, are those real? Not exactly. <laughs> so this is a prop. Uh, if I have a fresh peach and fresh grapes, can I just throw them in our backpack and go up to space and be all good to eat? No! Look! We need water. Look! Look! What? Why can't I, why can't I take our fresh fruit? Fresh fruit. Why can't I take our fresh fruit? Do you know why? Do you have an idea? Okay. Anyone? What kind of air is in space? What kind of, like, what's going to happen to this? Yes. Okay, so uh, you're somewhat right. There is no gravity. There is no gravity in space. There is no air oxygen for us to breathe. So our fruit would not survive. In addition to that, 
Do you know how long a space trip can take or last? How long would a mission last sometimes? Do you know? They can actually be in space uh, from six months to a year. Six months to a year. So this would definitely not last that long, which brings us to our very special, hold, astronaut food. So what makes this special other than the fancy packaging? Do you know? They do, yes, and people rotate uh, in and out so that people would bring more with them. But what else? Why do we? It's freeze-dried. Yes, freeze-dried dehydrated food. That's what this is right here. So if we could please put that in our backpack to help us on our trip. Thank you very much. So now we've got food. We've got air. Guys, I'm going to ask you a really important question, and I need you to remember that you are in a library right now. Do we take books? into space with us? No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. No. yes. Guys, do we go to space for vacation? No. Can we say, bye mom, bye dad, I'm going to space for summer break? No. No. It doesn't work like that, right? We don't just go there right now for the fun of it. Why do we go to space? Well, actually, they are planning on, in future, to make people they are. space on vacation. Yes, but right now, we are not at that point. So. <laughs> Why do we go to space, guys? Why would we need a book with us? Do you know? Why do you need books? Why do you use books? To learn about space. Thank you very much. Hold on to our book there. To learn about space. Guys, they, do, they study. They do research. They do all sorts of things while they are in space. So if we can please try to put that book in our backpack. We're going to do the lower pocket for this, OK? OK, there you go. Put it in there. Sorry. The book is heavy, but it'll be worth it. Because it'll weigh nothing in space, right? OK, so we are going to zip it up. Zip it up. And flip that over. Would you please try on our backpack? There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so really quickly, can, can we talk to you now? Okay, really quickly, uh, these are all of our volunteers. These are our, our NASA space cadets and engineers who have gotten us all prepared for our trip up into space. Can we get some names? What's your name? Abram. What is it? Abram. Abram? Abram with our helmet. Lexus. Lexus with our space suit. What's your name? What is it? Luke. Luke, helping our backpack packing. Livia. Livia. Eli. Eli. And Lily. And Lily. Can you demonstrate those boots for us? Give them a little kick up in the air. Dance like you just don't care. Awesome. Okay, guys, so a big round of applause for all of our volunteers. Okay, I will take the astronaut. And you guys can go ahead and take off whatever you were helping me with up here. Greatly appreciate your assistance. Now we have to figure out how we're going to get up into space. I'll unpack it later. Thank you so very much. Fantastic job. Thank you. Got him? Thank you very much. <laughs> the floor was cold after you took those off. Awesome. Got it? OK, great work. Thank you so much. Big round of applause for them, guys. Now I must ask you a very important question. Can we get a train ticket and head to space? No. How do we get to space? A rocket ship. Rocket ship. <laughs> a rocket, a shuttle, yes, yes. All of these words. We are going to do a quick experiment to see if we can blast off into space. I'm going to need you guys to keep your heads up. Because this is our rocket ship. Back up, back up, and keep your heads up. This is our rocket ship. This is an old film canister for those youngins who might not know. We are going to close it, seal it completely, give a little shake, shake. Oh, please work. Okay. 
Watch it. Keep your eye on it. We have gas building up inside of it. Woo! <laughs> Okay, it's it's just water. <laughs> My, it just hit right here. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad. So, that was, guys, we just blasted off into space, didn't we? I'd say, I'd say that was a successful trip. We now are all in space. Let's describe what it is like up here. So, a little bit more in description. Do you know what it's like? Can we do questions at the very end? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, what is space like, guys? And where are we going? Space has stars and the sun. Okay, yes, yes, very good. What is it like, though? So we've mentioned something about. There's no gravity, correct? There's no air, oxygen, right, that we need to be able to breathe. It is very dark for the most part. You're just kind of secluded up there in space. Where do we go when we go into space? Where do we go? We have to have a destination. Where do we go, guys? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. So we have, did you? So, maybe later like at the next program. So, we had someone say the moon. We did used to go to the moon. In between the years 1969 and 1972, there were Apollo missions, and here's all of them, and where they landed on the moon. Nowadays, however, we have somewhere else that we go. What is this? A space shuttle. It, this is. This is the International Space Station. Yes, Space Station. And what are these on the side? Do you guys know what those are? You know? Those are solar panels. Those are going to keep us powered so that we can keep in orbit with the Earth. Now, when astronauts go up to space, they actually stay in the center part here. And since it is the International Space Station, as of right now, there are astronauts from the United States, Japan, and Russia who share the International Space Station. So we mentioned that we're going to be studying up there. Yes, fantastic. Let's study, let's study what it's like in space. We've mentioned the lack of gravity, the lack of air, oxygen. What is it when you have no air? What sucks air out? What sucks air? It, that's left water. What sucks air? A vacuum, maybe? Do you guys know what this is right here? Yeah, this is a vacuum chamber. It is going to suck all the air out of the chamber. What I have in here is a marshmallow. Everyone wants to eat the marshmallow. We are going to put our marshmallow back in the chamber, close our chamber, and I'm going to take your hypothesis, what do you think is going to happen when we suck all the air out of our vacuum chamber? What is going to happen to that marshmallow? It's going to like deflate. You think it's going to deflate. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to get really small. What do you think? You think it's what? You think it's going to explode inside? Do you know what it's going to do? It's going to get big? Anything else? It's going to get bigger and bigger until it pops. Okay, guys, so do you have something different? What do you think is going to happen? You think it's going to fly up and then pop. Okay, so can everyone see our marshmallow from where you are sitting? Yes. Fantastic. I'm going to turn this sucker on. You keep your eyes peeled right there. Let's see what happens to our marshmallow. Ready? You want to do a countdown? Five, four, three, two, one. Eyes on the marshmallow. Woo! Look at that go! What? What? So, 
Raise your hand if you have an observation. What did you observe? What happened to our marshmallow? It grew bigger and bigger. It grew bigger and bigger. How much bigger did our marshmallow grow approximately? What would you say? What? A lot. It did grow a lot. Do you know? You are so smart. Yes, when we took the, yes. No, actually it doesn't go past that point. Yeah, it doesn't go past that point. So do you guys want the science explanation as to what happened to our marshmallow inside of our vacuum chamber? So that's correct, it got big, but why did it get big? There are actually air bubbles inside the marshmallow to begin with. Inside our chamber and everywhere around the air, there's air pushing down on the marshmallow. When we sucked all of the air out of our chamber, the marshmallow expanded, it grew right in front of your eyes, and all those air bubbles that were inside had a chance to escape. Okay, so all those air bubbles escaped, and then when we let air back in there, it shrank back because all of the air that used to be inside of it was now out in space somewhere. Was that super cool or what? Yeah. yeah. Super cool. Don't eat that. I just, you know, dropped it. So, now that we are in space, we've explored a little bit. How do we get back to Earth? How do we get back? Do you know? Usually you take the moon landers. Do you, but what is needed, what is needed for us to get back into space? You see water, so that's why you're saying it. But what do we need, guys? We need some sort of, what if I grab this? What is this? Okay, so we need some sort of gas, fuel, if you will, some sort of fuel to project us back to Earth, okay? Let's see if NASA can get us home today. Guys, this might make a sound, so please cover your ears if you are sensitive. Otherwise, keep your eyes open because otherwise you will miss the science. Are you ready? Ready? Do we need another countdown? Five. Jug. Congratulations, that was plenty of fuel to get us back towards Earth. So now, we are back home, back in the Williamson County Public Library. Are you guys relieved to be back from space? Yes. Yes. Was that a trip or what? Did you learn a lot? Yes. Let's do a really quick review of what you learned. We learned about what? Our planets? What else? What to pack, what to take with us to space? <laughs> you, you, you learned about making a, a fuel to blast us off and or back, correct? What else? Uh, we learned about the spacesuit. Yes, the spacesuit. Uh, astronauts. Astronauts, good. What else, guys? Anything else uh, about space in general that you learned today? Did you learn something? You liked the rocket bit here? That took uh, the gas that built up and then took us up? Okay, now can we go up? Very good. Okay, guys, big round of applause for yourselves. That was an awesome trip to space and back down. Do you have anything to say to wrap up about summer reading? When she showed you the picture of the International Space Station, have any of you in your summer reading activities listened to the astronaut read you a story oh, I see from those. the International yeah. Space Station? If you have not done that, if you need to know how to do that, you can ask when the program's up. Yeah, yeah. There are videos out there to watch of astronauts up in space reading you stories for your summer reading program. Isn't that awesome?
Okay, awesome, pretty great. Guys, we're gonna wrap up. If you wanna come up, ask any questions, or see any of my materials, form a line, if you will, or some sort of calm, that'd be great. But do you mind touch? Do you wanna touch the astronaut?